this time on Custom Works, Dualatron, day one. Let's get to the workshop. This time on Custom Works then, we're going to be taking the first tentative steps into the nightmare project that is Dualatron. Trying to get just some of it back together so it's actually like firm and stable again and isn't going to just fall to bits on the ramp. And also, sadly, this week we say the final goodbye to the meat wagon. It's done, it's gone, but as the song says, done, done, and on to the next one. Coming up right now on Custom Works. Well, it would have been a shame not to take it for a bit of a spin on the old uh, CGI highway there. Still drives quite nice, this car. Let's take a look at Dualatron and just the general state Dualatron's in. It's awful. And one of the worst parts is just here. This has just totally come away from the frame in between, come away from this other panel. Everything's moving. Nothing's very stable. Now, the reason this has happened is that I made this boot using one piece of aluminium and another and then all I did down here was filled it with like the fiberglass compound and it's just it's just not good enough this this has got to have um, matte and resin on it you know um, sort of two three layers minimum to hold this kind of join but hey I built this car 15 years ago it's the first car I ever built I built it on my drive I didn't really know what I was doing but since then obviously I've I've honed my I've honed my method and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do now, chop off some of this loose filler, grind this back so I've got a good key for the fiberglass and then get some matte and resin on it and make it strong. Now on this car there is a lot of these sorts of repairs that need doing. These need doing and then the whole thing needs fiberglassing. But what I can do, and this is always good, if you've got two projects, why stuff's dry and you can always work on the other one. You can pop back out, do a bit on this, and back to that. It's my, it's not even a top tip, is it? It's just time management, really. Anyway, I've told you about it now, so you know. boot just here doesn't hold down into its position anymore and thinking back I'm pretty sure there was a piece of wood under it that's probably rotted away now 
when I originally built this, it is. It's it's aluminium wrapped around a wooden frame, and the frame provides the strength. Now it's not really our build anymore. The panel provides the strength now, and uh, that's how this is going to be. So I'm not going to replace the wood underneath because this panel, you know, it'll be hard enough to walk on by the time we're finished now. Whereas at the minute, if you did walk on it, it would very easily buckle and just cave in. So. This will all be covered in, uh, in fiberglass and really strong. Uh, but what I do need to do is to hold this bit down. And as I've got nothing to screw it to, it looks like I screwed it. Maybe I screwed and glued it before, then removed the screws to glass over it. I don't know. And like I say, it's, uh, from what I can see, I'd only use fiberglass compound, not the strong matte and resin that I'm going to use today. So what I'm going to do, I've cut these small aluminium tags and I'm going to put those on there, and I put those on there, hold that, and those then um, might affix those down, just to hold this panel in line, whilst I whilst fiberglass it. Obviously, I've, I've roughed up the back of these, so it will stick on there. Good. Now rough the bits up that I'm going to actually stick. But if I can just get this panel to hold back in line, then I can put the fiberglass on it, and then it it will just be rock solid from then on. And don't forget the whole of the back of this car I'm going to wrap in fiberglass just so it's got that strong sort of outer shell that's really it's going to protect it for years another point with this if this car had been done in steel and this had the you know the rust and the rot in the steel had lifted this as it would probably would have done by now this car sat outside for like six or seven years I would have to remove all of this but because it's aluminium you know the wood has rotted away behind it doesn't really matter we do in a different way and the aluminium has no rust in it there's no there's no active ingredient here that's going to carry on this decay the decay is is gone the bit of filler that was lifted is gone we're gluing it back a different way there's nothing underneath that repair that's going to cause trouble in the future i've put the aluminium tags on just here and they are now holding this and there's a lot less spring to it before there was just so much spring so what i'm going to do now is really rough this up with a grinder and i want to make sure that i get a really really good bond with the fiberglass because that literally holds the panel together and because it goes like that it provides triangulation in the boot sort of trunk sorry structure so then let's get that ground up We're going to glass these in. First thing we're going to do, we're going to really work the um, resin into all of this just to stick everything together, make sure we get great adhesion on these two joins. Once this is dry, this will be back to being a nice rigid panel again. But don't forget, this is all we're going to do. We're going to go over this whole area in fiberglass just to make sure it's bulletproof and future proof. Let's get to the resin. All that fiberglass is on let this dry for a few hours and then the back of this should finally it's going to be watertight and sort of rigid again and it almost seems like I'm jumping the gun on why didn't I you know flat the whole thing off and do it well if I'd done that there wouldn't have been enough left you know I can't flat against something that's moving so by doing it like this this gets it strong and then I can sand all this down and recoat it Another part of Gyrotron that's been giving me absolute nightmares is this. Look at this. Massive chunk of Bondi. So 
I'm going to cut along here because I don't want to break the back window or anything. I'm going to remove it. Let's just for curiosity's sake, see what's underneath. There we go, that is, a, that is a massive chunk. What we can see here from this is what was the problem here. And look, on every single thing, it's that red fiberglass compound that hasn't been, you know, it's just not been keyed in good enough. Got a steel screw in there as well, that couldn't have helped. Yeah, I think a lot of this car's problems is down to that and poor keying. And I know when I'm, when I'm normally using the discs, you might see that I have these really chunky sanding discs and they're 40 grit. And to key stuff like this, you've got to have 40 grit. This to me hardly seems keyed in. It doesn't even seem rough. And at the time I had a small angle grinder. I just had the one plug in like 30 quid, 240 angle grinder. And that's pretty much all I had. I had that uh, DIY sander and just some, some blocks of wood that I sculpted the whole car out. But you live and learn and 15 years on, I'm back here living and learning. So um, what I'll do, I'll reattach this and at some point we can glass this back in but with a lot better key to this. Oh, this is just smooth. No wonder it never stuck. Oh well. I'm only one person to blame really, and that's me. <laughs> right, and so it's been overnight and Joalatron's boot has dried. Now, this is this is the bit that you know yesterday was just flapping about but now it is absolutely rock solid got a really good key to that aluminium got some really really good sort of wetness from the uh fiberglass getting in there and uh yeah it's just like a it's just like a it's like a different boot lid it really is absolutely rock solid no more flapping although this bit still has got flex to it so we will be fiberglassing over that just to make sure you know, we have no cracks or problems in the future. Another problem with Dualitron we've got is that whoever parked it, parked it, just got out and left the door open for years on end. Just left the door open. Why would you leave the door open? Did he? I think he just walked away and thought, oh, I've had enough of that. And off he goes. Didn't even think to close the door. And this is probably where it's suffered, you know, sort of like the most damage. And this has been incredibly damaging. If we take a look inside the interior. Well, we can see that it's been used as some sort of storage shed for junk. Um, there's a lot of really minging stuff going on in there. Just like a lot of, a lot of cobwebs, a lot of mould general detritus grimness but this is what happens when you leave the doors of a car open in a field for many years so what i'm going to do is all of this is wet everything is damp in here the minute the sun comes out all the windows steam up on this car so i'm going to get all this out going to get it in the workshop get it in the dry because let's face it the workshop is the dustiest driest place in all the world on earth so what i'll do i'll get it all out get it in the warm start getting it dry and then just see what we can salvage from this once great interior bad in here as you can see here look we've just got there's just standing water in here and don't forget this is based on a Citroen BX so it's not as if it's not as if the floor is going to rot away because this is a galvanized floor it's not like the floor in say a car from the 80s or something like that which would have rot, rotted out years ago the floor is all really solid and you know that's something we can you know just be just be thankful for that it's a sort of a more late model car it's based on but it really is wow 
an absolute and it stinks it really does stink <laughs> it smells so bad of just damp and mold it seems to have grown a spare wheel in the back as well we'll get that out get everything out that could be holding this horrible moisture Eey, look at the roof the roof is absolutely rank as well i'm 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 somewhat lost for words i must ad must admit somewhat lost for words this is this is really bad but we'll get it all out <laughs> dry it all out and see what we've got left hmm. probably not much really was oh my god I had a hole in my glove as well it really was disgusting that is it's just so full of water it's like the car's been in a flood but I suppose that's what you know leaving it in a field with the door open for six years will do and look at all this just general rubbish and detritus from out of there everything everything soaked there's literally like water dripping out of everything it's rank, but it's going to be good again. We've got a lot of it out, and now all we've got to do is get that drying. So I'm thinking rags, mopping, fan heaters. Done. So the car's in a terrible state. It really, really is. And, you know, that interior was just one of the grimmest things I've ever seen. And now, I've not seen this car in over 15 years. So, you know, none of this comes as much of a surprise. What did come as a surprise is that back in the day when I sold this, I could jump in and out of the car easily. Now it takes me about five minutes to get through that <laughs> little door hatch because I'm like just so old and decrepit. Um, I used to literally just doing jump in with a big high quiff as well at the time I had. Um, but even that, I could duck through that door. Now, no hair, no hair, <laughs> barely fit through the door, <laughs> barely fit through the door. It's a nightmare. <laughs> I think if I was keeping it, yoga classes might be uh, on the horizon for me. Um, but yeah, probably the most depressing thing about it is it's told me I'm old. <laughs> Okay, so the meat wagon is actually done. Peter's in there, ready to drive it back to Barnard Castle in Durham. Be there, see it shows. Eat the meat, eat the meat. And, uh, and I hope you all get to see it and enjoy it. But that's it, it's going. Goodbye meat wagon. all we've got time for this week but I will be back next week with more car based custom madness don't forget click like subscribe do all of those things click the bell icon but yeah share it do all of that don't forget we've got t-shirts on our Etsy site and at the minute I'm building a small electric car that looks like a can anyway that's not the show that's not the show we will probably show you that when it's done though it's super cool anyway see you all next week I thank you very much and good night.